Hey, what's going on? It's Court from Cody Media. I help restaurant owners get butts in seats with digital marketing. Do you feel like when you're posting on your, your Facebook page or your Instagram for your restaurant, it's not getting a lot of engagement? It's not getting a lot of likes or comments or shares. Uh, you can see it's not getting a lot of reach, whereas a lot, not a lot of people are seeing it. Um, I'm going to give you three things that you can do to help increase the engagement and get more likes, comments, and shares on your post. So let's dive in and talk about it. Now, I'm going to say, first of all, Facebook, Instagram, all of them have really changed in the last few years. Five years ago, you could post something and it would get a ton of views and, and engagement, all right? But now, really, social media, especially Facebook, has become pay to play, all right? You could post something and um, you know, you might get a tenth of how many followers you have on your page. All right. And so, um, you know, so it really does become a pay to play thing, but you can do some things to help out. Number one, number one is being consistent. Okay. And what, here's why Facebook looks at it and there's an algorithm and it looks at activity on your page. And if your page consistently gets activity. And what do I mean by that? You're consistently posting. You're consistently replying to people's comments. Um, people are liking your page and it's getting, it's getting uh, traction. It likes that and it will show it to more people. So Facebook will see, oh wow, there's a little bit of activity here. I'm gonna show it to some more people. And as you go, Facebook's gonna say, oh, well, yes, it's, it's getting some more activity. I'm gonna show it to even more people. And it kind of grows from there. Now, this is not an overnight thing, but you need to be consistent posting, all right? So you're gonna say, okay, what's consistent? Well, what I suggest, and I, you know, if a good starting point, if you're not posting at all, um, if you could do one time a week, get started there with one social media platform. If you're not doing anything, all right? You don't have to post every day. If ideally, if you could get to posting three to four times a week, that would be really good. Again, you don't have to post every single day, all right? Sometimes that might feel overwhelming for you to do, so don't even try it. But if you could get to a point where you can be consistent, and scheduling those posts um, is really helpful as well. You can schedule on Facebook. That will help the activity start and it kind of starts the machine where Facebook is like, okay, all right. Now, you can't just post boring old things, all right? When you're posting, it can't just be super generic things. I'll often look at a restaurant and see, you know, someone that, you know, if they're, I'm talking to them about being a client, I'll look and see what are they posting and how many likes is it getting? Because I always go back to my three P's. You say, what should I post? I look at my three P's. My three P's, you've probably heard me talk about it. Uh, number one is product. And so those are the food shots. Those are what you probably post the most of, all right? Now, they need to be good. And I've done another video. I'll put a button up here where you can go check out that about how to take good photos. It needs to be lit well. You need to maybe do a little bit of color correction on your phone. But showing pictures of your product is important. But what really moves the needle and what I see gets the most likes, comments, and shares are when there's people involved. Here's an example of, uh, of one restaurant that we work with where we do a monthly video where I go out and I'll record uh, the bartender making a drink and show them, okay, here's, here's what's happening in the drink. Um, and people love seeing that because it has people, it has product. And then my third one is process, all right? Again, people wanna see what does it look like behind the scenes to, to make the food. So maybe it's your chef um, making uh, uh, his popular chicken fried chicken. Maybe it's you putting together a pizza and you show every step of the way of what it makes, what it looks like to make a pizza. People go crazy over this. And so product people process. If you can do that, and I've done lots of videos talking about this, um, that will help you get more engagement. Be consistent and then your three Ps. Now the final one, and I kind of cringe a little bit when I say it, but you know, it does sometimes help to boost some posts. Now, 
What we do is we run uh, ads, Facebook ads, to build a database and we're trying to get people off of Facebook. But for the purposes of this, you can boost a post and get some more engagement. But if you're gonna boost something, think about it should be something really, really good that has product people process, all right? You don't wanna just boost some generic post. And ideally, if you, could, if, if you could do an ideal thing, it would have all of these and it would send people into an opt-in for some type of, of, uh, of offer. Maybe it's a buy one, get one pizza, whatever it is. That's, that's another video, that's another topic. But uh, if you're gonna boost things, make sure it's something that's actually gonna get likes. Also, when you boost, make sure you show, you, you um, dial in on the zip codes that you're showing it to people in your area. I cannot tell you how many restaurant ads I see. I'm in Kansas City. I see restaurants all the time. Pennsylvania, Texas, Oklahoma, all these restaurants all over the country. Now, I see lots of restaurant posts because that's what I do, but obviously those people did not target very well because I am seeing it. So you can get some traction by boosting, and so maybe at the start you wanna do that. Here's a quick tip. When you do that, you can invite people, anybody that likes your post, Facebook will show a notification that says, hey, Sally, just like your post. Invite her to like the page so she can see more. And what you can do is you go through and you click on each, um, on those li uh, people that have liked it and you can invite them to like your page. That will give you more likes on your page. So if you're gonna boost a post, make sure you're doing that as well. So if you're not getting engagement, these are three things you can start doing. It's not gonna happen overnight. This isn't just a turnaround and all of a sudden you're gonna be going viral. If it was that easy, we'd all be going viral, right? But if you can be consistent with your posting, start with once a week. If you can get to three or four, that would be fabulous. Uh, think about your three Ps, product, process, people, okay? That's gonna do really well as well. And if you wanna boost things, you can do that also. So if you are a restaurant and you wanna get more engagement on your page or you want really wanna get butts and seats, love to have a quick conversation with you. I'm gonna drop a link below where we can just uh, set up a quick Zoom call and talk about what that looks like, how we can help you uh, get more butts and seats at your restaurant. So hope you're having a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon.